Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm gonna start working on a new sensor that is SHT30. Now, to have a better perspective of this sensor, let's move on to the website that is controlleverything.com and here search on for this sensor that is SHT30. And let's find out what this about. As you can see, it's a humidity and temperature sensor. It's a mini module. And these are some of its features. Also, you can have the sensor and you can purchase the sensor from here. Well, I will be interfacing the humidity and temperature sensor SHT30 with uh, the Beagle Bone Black and the platform software platform I'm using is the C language C code. And to get the code, uh, go to resource tab and here comes the C code sample as you can see. You can download the C code sample as a zip file from here. You can also have the code from github.com and the repository there is control everything community. Now let's have a look over the hardware connections we need to set up and let's proceed. Well for the hardware connection setup, first of all the requirement of uh, the Beagle Bone Black is there as you can see on my screen and this here is an I2C shield. It's available on the website controleverything.com and the real reason we are using this shield is to make connections with other I2C devices a lot easier. So gently place this I2C shield over the Beagle Bone Black and then we have a connection like that. So next thing we require is the sensor that's the humidity and temperature sensor SHT30 and this here is a connecting cable. Make the connection among the sensor and the cable and make sure that the brown wire of the cable should be connected to the ground terminal of the sensor and for the same reason to the I2C shield. Next we require to power up the Beagle Bone Black and for that we require two things. First of all this here is a mini USB cable and gently insert it over this jack right here. And the next thing we require is an adapter of 5 volt and gently put it over this power jack. The last thing we require is to connect uh, the setup, whole setup right now with internet connection and there are two ways by which we can do that. First of all, uh, an ethernet cable or a LAN cable can be used uh, and gently insert it over this ethernet jack and secondly we can also use a wireless nano USB adapter just like that. Now we are done with the connections part. The next thing we require is to have a look over the C code and let's interface. Well, in the section for the interfacing part, uh, we need to log into github.com and here we have to search for the repository that is control everything community and let's have it the sensor that is SHT30 and here we are. As you can see, this is the C code. But before that, let's have a look over the instructions as we need to set up and connect uh, the Beagle Bone Black and the required needs are on the link that is beaglebone.org. Please do it carefully and after that we have to download the code and the Beagle Bone Black and this is the command to compile and this is to run the C code. Please note it down and get back to the code and this is our code it's a .c file as you can see. Uh, in the code you notice that we have included some of the header files and in the void main function we have uh, to create an I2C bus and check whether the bus is there or not and then we have I2C device and address of the sensor is 0x44. After that we have the writing section part where we are sending measurement command 0x2C and high repeatability uh, measurement that is 0x0C and here comes the part is here. It's sleep there for delay of one second then we had to read six bytes of the data in the reading section as you can see uh, from the general read address and the data is temperature and humidity data and there is a condition regarding the error which you have to note down and after that we have the conversion of the data takes place which is according to the guidelines and the formulas provided for the data sheet uh, for SHT30. At the very end we want to display the output results on the screen which you can see as relative humidity in percentage RH and temperature in Celsius and Fahrenheit. So this is how the sensor works. The code is here and let's see how it works practically. Let's have it. Now coming to the working section. Uh, the first step is to copy this entire code of this sensor and then we have to open up the terminal for the Beagle Moon Black and here we have to create as you can see on my screen it's a .c file and here we have to paste the entire code we have just copied and then we have to save it as you can see 
and this is the command uh, for the compilation process you have already seen this command in the instructions part and here we go the code is being compiled and it is successful after that we have to build the code and run it and you can see this is the command for that and we have the relative humidity in percentage RH along with the temperature in Celsius and Fahrenheit scales and as I run the command again you can see the changes are very minute or there is very little change because there is no change in the relative humidity and temperature as far as it is concerned but when I press my finger over this and run the command you can see the changes reflected onto the screen and there are uh, the changes in relative humidity and in the temperature so this is how the sensor responds to the C code and the Beagle Bone Black now what do we require is to have a look over the benefits and applications of this sensor the SHT30 is a next generation humidity and temperature sensor this sensor builds on a new CMOS sensor sensor chip it has fully calibrated linearized and temperature compensated digital output Due to these features, it's very useful for industries, IoT, automotives, medical appliances and a lot more. This sensor can be purchased from the website that is controlleverything.com and you can have the code from the resource tab from this website. You can download the code as a zip file from here. You can also have the code from github.com and the repository there is control everything community. In the end, I hope uh, you have everything and for further queries, you can reach us on controleverything.com and uh, for comments you can post your comments on community page. Now for articles and blogs you can have a look upon our instructables.com and to subscribe more video tutorials you can go to our YouTube channel. I hope you enjoyed this video and have a good one yourself. Thanks a lot for watching.